This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. Red Hot Comic Book Movie News. Shooting up your butthole. The Weekly Planet. The Weekly Planet. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and... TV shows? That's right. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday. With me as always is my co-host, Nick Mason. Just checking we're you all... You nearly caught me Did out. I? You nearly caught me out. I wanted to bring you out. into it. I wanted yeah, to bring you okay. into it. It seems like a test to me. You're like, this guy's been doing this for like 380 episodes. You reckon he knows? You reckon he knows at this point what we're talking about? There wasn't even really any hesitation in you either. Mm. I'm very impressed. Thank you. 398 this week, Mason. Is it really? Yeah. Oh. What do we do for 400? Apparently we promised we'd talk about the movie 300 in episode 400, Correct. which is what we said at episode 300. Oh, okay. But I don't think we're going to do that. Okay, but how do we fill the remaining 100? We talk about the TV series, The 100? We could talk about The 100. Okay, yeah. A, yeah. Is there any other uh, numbers relate? Numbers. Well, we could do we could talk about numbers. We could talk about the TV series numbers. <laughs> we could talk about the movie 300 while uh, doing a century oh, yeah. of shots and die. We could both die. That's just beer, right? Yeah, I don't how know. How many why. beers is it? Uh, <laughs> what's, the, what's the shot? 35 mil? Yeah, let's not do the math. I'll just Google okay. it. So for those who don't know... It's Centurion. They know. They're all Nobody booze knows. hounds on our podcast. Nobody. Everybody's been locked down. Nobody knows anything. <laughs> um, it's base. It's eight. Okay. So it's what you have to do. You do 100 shots of beer and you do one every minute. Yes. Is that right? Mm-hmm. For until, However long it however, takes. Till you die. Till you die. Um, it's, it's eight cans. So That's it's eight cans in a bit over an hour. Okay. I could do that. You think you could? I, no. You know what? I used to be able to do yeah, it. I no, couldn't you, do it now. <laughs> you couldn't do it. That's true. Yeah. I'm weak. <laughs> And maybe better for it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Your 1% body fat couldn't handle it. Couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. Anyways, let's get into it, Mason. I'm, I'm more around 14, 15, just, just for people in the know. Mason. Also, I don't drink beer, so that would be tricky. I could do cider or chicken nuggets. <laughs> 100 chicken nuggets. 100 chicken nuggets. You'd be better off doing beer. Yeah, no, I would. Nuggets. It's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. at a certain point. Oh, what if I alternated? What about 50? Oh, what if 50 shots of 50 chicken nuggets? What a brew that would be. Yeah. That's called an English stew, I believe, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's right. Um, before I talk about what we're going to talk about this week, because there's time codes below, people want to jump <laughs> around, I believe you want to talk about a podcast that you were on. Oh, that's right. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, for reminding you. This week, I was on an episode of Fofop. Yes. Because people will know Tofop, 30 uh, odd foot of pod, which is Will Anderson and Charlie Clawson's podcast. Yes, yes. So they also do Fofop, where one of the hosts is out. This week, I was guest Will. And Charlie and I uh, had a good old fun chat. You did over on the internet. You got into it. It is. It's it's right. It's probably with you right now. The internet. You can check it out. So it's... just go to Fofop. F O F O P. That's right for that. And uh, talked about all kinds of fun stuff. Sometimes people don't have the internet with them. They're like, I was trapped in some rubble. The only thing I had was your podcast. Remember? We get we get emails like that every now. Like and the 127 then. hours guy. He was like, exactly. I was trapped. Yeah. And, uh, all I had was your podcast. Which is why I cut my arm off. I mean, they were coming to get me, but I'm <laughs> like, no, I cannot listen to this. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> So yeah, I, and I used up all my annual leave. <laughs> <laughs> it is this bloody this crevasse or whatever. What a nightmare! I was probably supposed to spend an afternoon here. I think if you don't have proper medical insurance, you want to make sure that the injury that you have, like it's enough to spin like a book deal on a movie out. Of, oh yeah, you know definitely. I mean? yeah, yeah, and yeah, then you yeah. could just do like speaking tours in like offices for the rest of your life. Yeah, I was trapped under a rock. What was it like? Yeah, not great. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't love it. Yeah. Yeah. My big toe got crushed. Did it? Yeah. I thought it was his arm. Oh, no, I'm a different guy. <laughs> di- I'm written, I'm, I've been that's in, not interesting enough. That's what I'm saying. I've been inspired by this guy and I've given it a whirl. I'm just like, yeah, big toe got squished. It went all purple. I got my foot caught in a door. I guess he just slammed your door on it. Yeah. yeah. That's where I am currently. <laughs> that's why I'm where I'm speaking to you. <laughs> Anyways, mm-hmm. it's a great podcast. I listened to it. A lot of fun. Two fun gentlemen have a, a fun, fun chat. Yeah, two you know fun gentlemen. I mean? That's what they should call it, two fun gentlemen. Yeah, great. They should rename it. Anyways, this week we're going to be talking about the release date for Shang-Chi. We're going to talk about more delays, including Venom. We're going to be talking- Is there going to be any dismays? Mason, there's never any dismays. Well, I thought. Though I might have to rename it this week. We'll talk about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna... Is it going to be delays and I'm really mad about Venom 2 <laughs> not coming out? <laughs> I'm not so much mad at Venom. I the, think there the might be a knock-on. The yeah. There mm. might be a knock-on effect. Yeah. It depends. We're also going to talk about some more Marvel animated stuff, some Moon Knight images. Uh, we're going to return to the Iron Fist universe. Are we? Yes. What? You're going to love it. Oh. Some Powerpuff Girl news. Okay. Some Sonic news. Oh, yes. And some bad news down at Marvel HQ for how they've been treating some uh, some of their creatives. Kevin know- Feige got his foot caught in the door. Did he? Yeah. He's going to do that speaking to. He'll be all right. 
I created the MCU. Talk <laughs> about your foot in the door. I mean, I created like, <laughs> like the biggest movie franchise ever. The door. Tell us about the door. Show us your big toe. <laughs> Show us how yuck it is. <laughs> Uh, also, we were going to do Free Guy. That's this the week. pivot because eventually superhero <laughs> movies are, you know, they're yeah. going gonna, to gonna be in decline. People have got this yeah. different part stuff. And in you things. just see all the all these like executives at DC and Warner Brothers and Marvel <laughs> and all these places. They're just like they're about to walk through a door, then they look down at their toe and they're like, <laughs> "Do I do it? Is this my golden ticket out of here? Is this my golden parachute? <laughs> a minor injury that I can spin into a speaking tour?" <laughs> So uh, we were going to talk Free Guy this week, mm-hmm. but we cannot because we have not seen it because right. we're in lockdown. And look, to be honest, I wasn't in a hurry to see it, but by all accounts, it's okay. It's all right. It's pretty all right. You know, so get yeah. out there if you want to. Yeah. But we are going to talk about movies that are set around and also about and sometimes in video games that strictly aren't video game movies. They're not video game movies. These are not adaptations of movie of video games, but rather they're movies where somebody's like, hey, it's Nintendo. Yeah. What are you talking about that? They might have a game have spun off them since. Oh. For example. No, don't pop- spoil it. Don't spoil it, James. All right, I won't. Bit of sizzle. Bit of sizzle. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. So Shang-Chi has a release date. Go on. Uh, people say, why do we say it like that? That's how it's pronounced, apparently. We learned um, this quite so recently. Yeah, there you go. That's something we're going to keep doing it until it's eventually pronounced a different thing or it stays like this. That's how we do it. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we just go with the flow. Anyway, it's going to have a 45-day theatrical window and then it will go to streaming which is uh, a, a deviation from Black Widow where they, yeah. they did day and date. They probably weren't, didn't get the return that they wanted to from that. So they're doing this. They're going to okay, try this. Yeah. I mean, if Fast and Furious has proven anything, it's that movies will never stop, even ones you don't like. And also... Big that, magnets. Big magnets. Very handy. <laughs> and maybe your brother, if he's your brother, you have to be spray tanned the same color. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Can you believe John Cena was in that and Peacemaker? It's wild, right? It is wild. Yeah, but um, and that haircut does not work on Charlize Theron. You ain't bloody wrong, brother. You ain't bloody wrong. But <laughs> that's what we've learned from the Fast and Furious <laughs> franchise. But you were saying something else that we've learned. It's that that movie did exceptionally well because it didn't have a day and date release. Oh, it had a shorter to digital. Run, okay, right, right, but, but it, it did have a cinema release. Yeah. Yes, so that one we uh-huh. had to see it in the cinema. Yeah. Also, I feel I was unnecessarily mean there. I think I think that haircut works on. Shall least they're on as well as it could work on anyone. Well, that, that's a stirring endorsement. Thank you. I mean, if anybody could do this, sure, mm-hmm. you are doing it. <laughs> the other thing is Warner Brothers next year. You know, this year they've been notorious. I'm familiar with this year. <laughs> for day and date releases, mm-hmm. which has been good for, like, us. Sure. And also anybody else who doesn't want to go into a movie theatre. But next year... They've decided to do a similar thing and they've struck a deal with AMC, which will probably then bleed over, which is a cinema chain, which probably bleed over into other regions of a 45-day release window. So I think their last movie of the year will be The Matrix 4 and then we're going to go from there and see what happens. That's just how you say it. We've learned this recently. We've been saying it wrong for 20 years. And if they correct us, we're actually going to stick with this one. We're not going to go with the flow. That's right. We've dug our heels in. That's right. So, yeah. So um, that's not surprising because... I don't know what the HBO Max numbers would be like, but I can't imagine they would have been level with the billion dollars worth of movies that they made no. <laughs> for the year. But, you know, at the time when they made it, they didn't really know what was going to happen and nobody did and they didn't tell all the creatives and whatever. It was a real mess, but mm-hmm. whatever. At least we got to see Go on, Wonder Woman 84. Oh, my God, did we ever. Oh, I went to the cinema for that one, actually. Me too. Great. Nice open air cinema. I agree. And I was just leaving. The usher was like, "What do you think of that?" And I went, "I don't know." <laughs> did they really ask? They really asked. They that, were like, "What did you think of that?" And right. I went, "I don't know." But my answer was actually bad. I did, thought it was bad. Did they know you? No. So they were asking, they were asking everybody. everybody. Oh yeah. wow! There you go. Yeah. Jesus, I don't like that. No. Straight away. Yeah, what do you yeah, think yeah. of that? I don't know. I just got up. I should have come back later. Just to be clear, I didn't like it. I didn't. I said, I said, I don't know, but uh, I didn't. I actually didn't like it. And he's like, "What movie did you see?" It's like the next day. Uh, speaking of movies, and he'd be, I'd be, he'd be like, "What movie did you see?" And I'd be like, "Wonder Woman '84." And he'd be like, "Oh, did you like it?" And I'd be like, "I don't know." <laughs> I just caved yet again. I'm, I can't be rude. Uh, so delays, but not dismays. Mm. But for the moment, if you don't mind, I'd like a slight rebrand. Okay. Can we call it the countdown to no time to die being delayed? Okay, great. I'll put the calendar up. You'd sure have, yeah. That's ours. I mean, it is closed. It's still up. 
You're not wrong. I don't, you're going to put a nail in the wall for a no time to die calendar? Yes. <laughs> So uh, from here, from a seat, from a seated position, I want you to throw it into the wall. <laughs> but it, I want you to throw a razor edged hat <laughs> at the wall and just through the middle of the, the yeah, calendar. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you might have heard this, but it actually needs. It's the most expensive Bond movie ever made, mm-hmm. and it needs nine hundred million dollars to break even. That's nine hundred million dollars in ticket sales to break yes. even. Okay, right. Yeah. What do you think of the chances of that happening this Slim. year? Slim. <laughs> Very slim. So you could, I mean, you couldn't do it this year. No. It would have, there would have to be a remarkable turnaround. Also, as I understand it, it, it needs nine, it needs to make $900 million in ticket sales to break even currently. Mm. But I mean, as time moves forward, I even, I read an article recently that all the technology is now obsolete. Like all the product placed yeah, in we the talked movie about it. Yeah. Is, is obsolete now. So like they might have to paste in new phones and new, new watches cars and, and watches and Mm. What have you? So and inflation got to factor in that inflation, sure. Yeah, of Daniel Craig. Yes. he's so big. Is he? I don't know. I, I can't tell with that man. I don't know. Is he five foot nine or six foot three? I don't know. Is he so too big or too small? It's always too small. Yeah, yeah. it's always yeah. too small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, there you go. I just think that. Uh, I you know what I also think though. Yes, these movies make a lot of money in product placement. Yes. So I'd imagine a lot of these costs have already been offset and we don't know about that. This could just be some Hollywood accounting mumbo jumbo. For sure. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. They could just be also looking for another streaming platform. Like, see, I think Amazon bought MGM, didn't they? I think that happened. Yeah, no, they did. Yeah, yeah. For some, well, some billions our, of dollars. In our famous segment, one big company buys another big company. <laughs> <laughs> Soon there'll be only one big company. <laughs> and we'll all be working for us. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, but it's but it it's it, it is further complicated because the broccolis yeah. still retain some control of how this is released. Because like I think yeah. almost anything else, if Amazon had acquired it, they'd just be like, "We'll put it on streaming. Who cares?" Yeah. But it seems like the broccolis, yeah, the Brock Pack, yeah. have have some issue with we we won't have it released on streaming. It's too it is too much prestige attached the to the Bond, service. the Bond movies. We won't we we shan't do it. What so. if Amazon were like we're a premium brand and we don't want you on our service? Whoa! It's like way we're way way bury you. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna put the master tapes of this in an Amazon box. We're gonna drone it into the ocean. No one will ever see it. So, uh, we're gonna put it on one of Bezos's space jaunts. He's gonna kick it out an airlock. <laughs> What do you think about that, Brockies? <laughs> so what's uh, that? That'll be very interesting to see how that gets delayed. Mm, yeah, maybe they'll just do it. Just be like, "Fuck it, whatever." We'll try and make our money back in clothing and bread deals <laughs> and Blu-ray sales well, I or mean, whatever. I, now that I think about it, couldn't they just make a bunch of? No, I guess they couldn't because they've already they've already committed. What you know? What they would have to do is they would have to like they'd have to double up on brand endorsements. So like Bond would like he'd be opening his Smirnoff vodka, mm. but then he'd have to open up a second bottle. Like they CGI another arm in, <laughs> like the T one thousand in Terminator two, with a separate brand of vodka, and he's like, mm. two vodkas. <laughs> Wait, is it two different vodkas? Two different vodkas. Two different wow. brands of vodka. Yeah, mm, yeah. If you're allowed to do that, is that even legal? Mm, well, 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 well. Does vodka freeze in space? Uh, I don't think so. That's no. interesting. How about this? All right. He won one brand of vodka. Yep. He's, he's, you know, he's been in some action sequence and he's all worn out and beaten and bloody and he's pouring out a vodka. Mm. But then he's also putting out a chicken nugget. <laughs> well, Donald's got a lot of money. That's right. Put that and BTS meal in there, baby. And you pull back. Yeah. And there's, a, there's 50 shots and 50 chicken nuggets <laughs> across the bar. <laughs> yep. That's right. He's going for it. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, so there you go. It's that, you know, when he's all, you know, in every every Bond movie he's retired and he's in some backwater, mm. you know, instead of it being like, you know, he's, 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 he's doing tequila and he's fighting a scorpion or whatever. It's, <laughs> it's just, it's vodka and chicken nuggets. <laughs> I'm getting oh, fat. How, oh, oh, how far you've fallen, Bond. <laughs> oh, that's what you, that's what the new 007's talking about in the trailers. How yeah. many chicken nuggets he's put away. <laughs> so, uh. Speaking of putting it away, most. But anyway, that's what I'm saying. More brand deals. Just put more brand yeah, deals in. Fine. He's just he's just wearing a t-shirt. Yep. It says NASCAR on it. <laughs> <laughs> just his cars are NASCAR. Cars are NASCAR. Just a fucking NASCAR. No, he's 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 dual wielding cars. <laughs> he's got one leg in his Aston Martin, whatever the new one is, uh, and he's got one leg in a NASCAR. Just covered in brands. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, but no, the reason we say. Um, Countdown to No Time to Die being delayed, which is our new segment. 
Uh, Venom 2 has been moved from September 24th. Yeah. Not that long, though. Like three weeks? So October 15th, which okay. is, it's weird because that's not enough to, like, be clear of the pandemic necessarily. That's right. I, I don't know what this is, though. I don't know why they'd why this move in particular. Brand deals. Yeah, it might be. Yeah. It's going to go up against Halloween, I think, maybe. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. And also, you might have heard this week that uh, apparently Does Venom, that mean they're also going to push back uh, Spider-Man? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. It's not a good sign. <laughs> nope. Uh, but I don't know. It, de- it depends on vaccinations, like as I shouted at everybody in that video. <laughs> sure does. But Michael Morbius, the movie's coming out still. Do you remember? Vaguely, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is remember? that filmed? Yeah, it's, it's, it's been. I think it was supposed to be out like last June. I'll probably ask that every time, which is a bad sign for the movie, I think. Yeah, I think so. And I I've never had an answer, so that's yeah. probably not a good sign either. Okay. But apparently Venom is in it. Oh, my God. Yeah. So there you go. Okay. Two great tastes. <laughs> vodka and chicken nuggets. <laughs> they are like vodka and chicken nuggets, aren't they? Yeah. Which is which? Tom uh, Hardy's ben- chicken nuggets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, variety. Um, is the spice of life. It really is. It's vodka and chicken nuggets. That's right. And then we're speaking to uh, producer Brad Winterbaum, who's over at Marvel. Uh, he says, Marvel Studios has multiple animated series, series in various phases of development for Disney Plus alongside the second season of What If. What does okay. any of that look like? Don't know. Great question. So there you go. Maybe they're bringing back Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Mm. He's, none of his, his friends aren't that amazing, like comparatively. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I He's sure. kind of the most amazing. <laughs> I mean, they were superpowered friends in that. Yeah, but it's not called Spider-Man's Amazing Mates and Spider-Man. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yep, you're <laughs> right. Yeah, no, I get it. Sure, sure, sure. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. He's the lead. He's the okay. star. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, so that's good, I guess. Yeah. We are currently doing What If uh, weekly episodes. Mm-hmm. First one for Agent Carter becomes Captain Carter. Went out last week. Collings does an amazing edit. We're going to be doing those until we don't want to or for eight episodes. We'll see how we go. Yeah. But I tell you what, that first one was fine, wasn't it? Sure was fine. Mm. We're uh, for bigsandwich.co yeah. over on the Big Sandwich Classic Comic oh, yes. Book Club. Perfect timing, Mason. We, uh, we covered, we, we talked about the What If comic books, yep. you know, our, uh, some of our faves and, you know, again, again how – how they sort of generally turn out, yeah. you know, you know, they're they're, it, they're kind of a mixed bag. But then we did also talk about a a classic, uh, what if comic book from the wow. late seventies, which is really something. It so, really is, yeah, something bad. It's I don't even think so. <laughs> it's like hubris, the comic book. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> it really is. Anyway, check yeah. it out if you're subscribed over there, at bigsandwich.co. Here's something. But amazing. yeah, but like we were mm. saying with the what ifs, oh, uh, yeah. you, know, you know, they are they are uh, a nice. What if? They were nice. Well, they certainly, this first episode certainly looked great, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. it did. Oh, yeah, I thought you meant the comics. Oh, but yes. that also looked good. We'll see. Mm-hmm. I think it's the T'Challa one this week, mm-hmm. so we'll get into that one. Moon Knight. Oh, yeah. Some leaked concept art, Mason. Allegedly. No, I think it's it. Okay, you think so? I don't know. Or it's a, is, it a, is it an on-set photo? What is it? Is it, a, is it a screen cap? Yeah, it might be that. I don't know. I looked at a <laughs> yeah. few. Some are blurrier than others. Okay, yeah. But it's the, they're doing. If if it is true, they're doing yeah. the Raggedy Man Moon Knight. People are people are upset. Why is that? I don't know if I would say ra- it's maybe not the Raggedy one, but it's sort of more the kind of Egyptian mm. kind of like you you tr- like you sort of a mystical suit. Yes. So yeah. So people people are mad. I think for I mean because white are, spawn because yeah because people are always mad all the time on the internet. But I think part yeah. of the reason is because. You know, in in the more you know traditionally, his costume is white. Yeah, uh, and 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 you know, as as we've seen in the sort of more recent, most of the hype for the Moon Knight series has come from like the comic books of the last ten years, probably. Yeah, and in that, there's there's he's a, doing a John Wick. Yeah, he's doing a John Wick, and there's a sort of a classic line in there where someone asks why his costume's white, and he's like, "Because I want people to see me coming." So mm. I think people are kind of uh, looking forward to that. But I mean, th- I mean, this could be. Because we don't know the context. I've, I've literally seen one picture which looks like it's a screen cap or something. Mm. This could be a camera test for one costume yep. and they've tried 20. He could have multiple costumes. Could have multiple costumes in the show because he does in the in the comic book where, like, he's got a traditional superhero one. He's got, like, a special forces looking one. Mm. He's just got a suit and tie. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. So it could be that. It could look more white in real life. This is just a bad He's got a photo. suit and a tie and just, like, a white mask. Is yeah, that yeah, the one? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's got the... Like yeah. On the head, yeah. Uh, you know, it could be, uh, yeah, like I said, it could be a camera test and they've tried 20 in there. Yeah. You know. I mean, or it could be, you know, just 
there's a reason most superhero costumes aren't white because it's really oh, difficult to is, isn't it? photograph them and keep them clean. Yeah. So, I mean, this, this, and it, you know, I think it's, you know, bad guys would still definitely see this coming. Yeah. Like, and it's, it's a nice kind of moon rock gray, which I think is nice. It's a question for you, though. Yeah. Yes. Well, you just kind of answered it. Do you like it, though? Yeah, I like it. Okay, the cool. Fir- well, my first thought was not, oh, it's not white. Mm. So, fair enough. It's pretty good. Do you know the moon's hot? No. Oh. I didn't know that either. Mm-hmm. I was watching that Apple show about whether on the moon or whatever. Yeah. And some of someone accidentally goes has to go, goes out on the moon. Yeah. And it's hot. Oh. It's too hot to go on there. I thought I always thought it was cold, but it's yeah. like blistering hot. Because ah. it's a big white rock that's just absorbing the sun all I day. Guess that's true, yeah. So, you know, yeah, yeah, I never yeah. thought about it until I saw it and I went, no, nah, that seems wrong. <laughs> they've, they've made a mistake here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this historically accurate and mm. scientifically grounded show. Let's make fun of Iron Fist, Mason. Okay, let's do it. You happy to? Yeah. I thought this show was fine, by the way, when it came out. The, but the fighting, mm-hmm. one character in particular, Iron Fist. was very lackluster. Mm. And now we know why. Oh, is there some inside, inside scoop is what's happening here. Do you like hot goss? Yes. Then you're going to love this. this I, like, is... I like my goss to be as hot as the moon. <laughs> your, famous, your famous expression. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's from Jam, Jamcast. That's what people come here for, for hot goss that's as hot as the moon. That's what we always say here. I never knew what it meant until just now. <laughs> they, um, Jamcast spoke to Brett Chan, famous stunt coordinator, okay. and he said, you know, we spent 21 to 22 hour days trying to make it work and have directors say, ah, no, or having Marvel say, ah, no, everyone is fighting and the actors... Do you think are- their feet were getting caught indoors? Maybe. Ah, ah No. no. So were you want me to, ah, everyone is fighting and the actor doesn't want to train. And it's like, guys, guys, throw me a bone. Give me, give me something to work with here. That is why some of our best sequences with, uh, were with Jessica Henwick, which is true. Yeah. She does some great stuff in that because she trained four hours a day and she has zero martial arts experience. And we had great guys teaching Aikido, Judo and some Kinjitsu uh, and then delivered some Kung Fu to add in there. It was just, Yeah. So without saying the name in particular, <laughs> okay, it's what's whatever his face is. Yeah, that guy's name. Yeah, I think may, the main <laughs> reason is not to save him any, you know, to have him maintain his dignity. It's just I literally cannot remember what his name Finn is. Finn something. Yeah, let me look that up. Jones. Finn Jones. Yeah. Okay. Well, we've said it. Check it, it up. Okay. So he just didn't want to train. Apparently, that's odd. I think so. You're in a show that's. Exclusive, it's exclusively based around martial arts. You don't want to learn any of the martial arts. That's it's weird, weird because if you look at like, yeah, like everybody, like they mentioned Jessica Henwick. If you look at like, um, what's his name? Yeah, Sashwa da, Dahuan. You know, he's the other guy. He's one of the, he, goes, he trains with him in the monastery or oh, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He seems to be able to fight. If you look at like, if you look at Daredevil, mm-hmm. the other thing is if they had to put a mask on him, it wouldn't have been a problem. Doesn't, doesn't matter. But you could have no. got this guy. Could have got this guy to do <laughs> exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. So it's just as he traditionally wears a mask in the comic books. <laughs> That's right. It's his whole deal. I do not get it. It's wild. Right? I don't get it. I recently rewatched. It was just on uh, just on YouTube. Like the you know you know the uh, the escape from the prison sequence in mm. Daredevil. Oh my god, so good. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was going to say that it's just kind of like it's this combination of and, it, and it's like they've clearly put so much thought into this idea of like he is he's got a lot of skills and he's had a lot of experience, yeah. but he's not super powered and there's so many of these other people. Yeah. And st- in like even if you're the kung fu master, like four guys coming at you in a narrow hallway yeah. that are going to like beat you over the head with a prison toilet or whatever, <laughs> like that's going to that's tough stuff. And yeah. it's just they're constantly just dragging themselves off the ground yeah. to keep fighting. And Amazing. There's a point where he just like a daredevil just he kicks a guy's foot out from underneath him and he, the dude cracks his head on like an examination table. Amazing. So good. Anyway, yeah, good show. Rewatch that, folks, if you can. Is that third season? Or was the second season? Second season, I, I think. I never finished the third season, but I did like Daredevil. Mm. I just, when I heard it was kind of being done, I just kind of yeah, right, right, just right. kind of dropped off. But if he turns up day one and he's like, I didn't train, yep. it's like, you're fucking fired, man. Right? Like, there's a million actors you could get in who would who would be more keen. It would, and like, you haven't lost any time. Yeah, yeah. Because he hasn't done anything. So yeah, it right. Do you know uh-huh. what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I just say it's bizarre to me. Anyway, maybe that's not how it went down. That's well, of course. That's I mean, one side one, of the story. Yeah, so. like, once we see, once we uh, hear from um, that guy. Yep. Main guy was in it. That guy. That guy was He's in, in it. it. We said his name minutes ago. Doesn't matter. Yeah. 
I've even got the tab open, but I'm just not clicking don't, on it. Don't, don't, don't click, don't look. Mm. <laughs> Good advice for the internet generally. Don't click, don't look. I agree. Mm. Uh, Variety, you know how you mentioned it's the spice of life. Yes. Got another article from them. Okay. There's Chloe Bennett, who you might know as Quake. Agents of Shield, Agents yeah. Of Shield, yeah. She has left the Powerpuff Girls uh, reboot. No, it's a... Reimagining, reimagining something. Live action reimagining something. Yeah, so it's uh, due to a scheduling conflict, they okay. say. So yeah. I don't know if you know, they did a, uh, a thing, whatever. <laughs> they filmed Can a pilot. Can you be any less specific, James? <laughs> <laughs> they filmed a pilot. Oh, I didn't know that. And it was apparently atrocious. It's like okay. a CW thing and it's like they're 25 and they're like bitter and jaded and that they were. I watched a video recently and mm. uh, about Riverdale. Oh, yeah. That's on YouTube and and. I think the person making the video mentioned that, like, any time somebody says, oh, this looks like a CW show, it's never a good sign. You know? <laughs> so true. you're saying, like, they made a Powerpuff Girl thing and it seems like a real CW situation. <laughs> no, you're right, yeah. Apparently, oh, I also didn't know, the Superman and Lois is made by HBO, but it's only put on the CW, oh, which is why it looks better. Oh, okay. Yeah. One more episode left. Yeah. I'm into it. Ooh. Anyway, so so they're 25 and they're, like, jaded because they're – they go, they were made to fight crime as oh, yeah, babies yeah, yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, cool. I don't really know the Powerpuff Girls. But, yeah, apparently they they are retooling the pirate pilot mm-hmm. entirely because it was terrible, but now they need another lead. So also I'd say this is probably not a scheduling conflict. Okay. Because, you know, because, you know. I mean, it's a scheduling conflict in the sense that she could be filming this, but she could also just be at home yeah. not doing this. Yeah, I agree. Just doing a different thing. Which is probably what's going on. Yeah. But here's something that is happening. Idris Elba uh-huh. confirmed. Yes. As Knuckles. That's right. What, what do you think, Mason? I love it. Yeah. So it was going to be Jason Momoa, wasn't it? I don't know. I remember it, that was the idea. Oh, well. That was the rumor. Let me check that. I like the idea that Idris Elba signed onto this. He went into a room and he was it was under the expectation that he was signing on to be Bond. <laughs> and they're like, okay. Idris, you're going to love this character. He's mysterious. Beloved. Suave. Yep. Iconic. Attitude. Attitude. Good with his fists. Yep. You know, he's prickly. Yeah, in a way. And he's like, this is sounding really good. This is, I'm, I'm excited for this. And they're he's like, bigger than all the other hedgehogs around him. <laughs> That's Sorry. Right. Sorry, what? <laughs> he's bigger than all the other hedgehogs around him. He's literally an echidna, Idris. <laughs> and Idris is like, let's do this. this. I love this take. I love this take on Bond. Here we go. So there you go. Bit of fun, Mason. Why not? Yeah. Um, the first one was, it was all right. Was it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Have you seen it? Yes. Yeah, it's a kids movie. We talked well. about it on the podcast. I know. Yeah. But I can remember whether I just talked about oh, okay, it. Okay, right, right. Well, they, that was also one of your reveals on the faux fop that you didn't watch one of the things we looked at once. Maybe. And people were like, oh, is James going to go back and check? No. <laughs> I don't. What's done is done. It's done. Yeah. What can I do about it? Yeah, Even yeah. if I, like, pfft, can confirm I sat through Sonic the Hedgehog. Wow. Yeah. Pretty brave of me, right? You're the bravest man I know. Thank you. Last bit of news. This is from What's the Knuckles deal? Oh, he's an, can he, he can punch stick. people? He can stick. He can climb and stick. Because uh, of climb. his knuckles. Yeah, because of his knuckles. Okay, right. Are, and are echidnas, can you get them in, in England? No. They're just Australian, right? They're Australian, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Think he'll do an Australian accent? Whoa, no. No? <laughs> well, the <laughs> hedgehog, a hedgehog is a hedgehog strictly American? Don't know. I don't think they are. I'm going to look that up. They're in the UK. I know that. I'm oh. just not saying they, they they might be in the US. Yeah, yeah. But up there. Do you think uh, Do you think Idris Elba will just do his regular accent? Yeah. 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 Because, like, who cares? That's right. I've seen some of that Sonic animated show or one of them that's on Netflix, and uh-huh. I don't think it's Australian in that either. <laughs> okay. But I couldn't tell you from a million dollars. Okay. There are 17 species of hedgehog, James, in five mm. genera found throughout parts of Europe, Asia, and Africa, and in New Zealand by introduction. Oh. Snap. That's right. Maybe we'll do a New Zealand accent. No, well, he's a, not an echidna. No, he's he- a, but hedgehog. Yeah, he's adopted the oh, accent. Oh, I, I said, said. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay. Let's pretend I said something competent. There are no hedgehogs native to Australia and no living species native to the Americas. There we go. Mm. We've all learned something today. That's right. So I don't think, yeah, nothing's, nothing's strictly true in the Sonic universe, is it? That's absolutely not. Uh, the Guardian reporting that creators at Marvel – are getting the short end of the stick. This is from an anonymous source. Okay. It says, I've been offered a special uh, character contract that was really, really terrible, but it was that or nothing. And then instead of honoring it, they send you a thank you note and they're like, here's some money we don't owe you. And it's like five grand. And you're like, that movie made a billion dollars. Mm, so yeah. essentially they're paying creators who have made these 
you know, these huge franchises. Yeah, possible. right, right. Yeah. No, and I, obviously there's a whole lot of steps between putting something to page and then it making a billion dollars. Yes. But five grand, come on. <laughs> Seems like, yeah. No, it's a, yeah, I, I think the for a lot of this stuff it's kind of, the the idea being like we don't owe you any money, so we're doing you a huge favor. Yeah, exactly. By, you know, you created this while you're working for Marvel, so it's ours, yeah. obviously. But we'll we'll give you a little something. And usually, what happens is it's it's often a case of like how beloved is the character, yeah, and how much. You know, I think it's also how much the public knows of you. Yeah, if your social media yeah. is is uh, like is, if you're Stan Lee or whatever. Yes, exactly. Then, yeah. yeah. Do we know, is there any clues to point to who this is? Well, it'd it'd be a billion dollar movie, I guess. So there's... I mean, it could be... Iron Man Avengers. Yeah, it could be Ed Brubaker, who who turned uh, Bucky into the Winter Soldier. I saw a story, I think it was on Comic Book Movie, where he wasn't invited to the Winter Soldier premiere. Like, he turned up. The the Captain America one? Yeah, the Winter Soldier one. And he wasn't on the door. Great. And so he messaged Sebastian Stan, who then got him in. All right. So... Shit like that. Yeah, it's well, like, come on, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, and I think the loophole there would be, well, you didn't actually create Bucky Barnes. You know, that's... You, you yeah, missed. but where's the fucking Bucky Barnes movie? That's right. Where's It's not called Falcon and Bucky Barnes, the TV show. <laughs> Teen sidekick Bucky Barnes. <laughs> mm. Little short shorts Bucky Barnes. <laughs> Teen adventurer. Yeah. He reinvented that character. That's true. So, you know, and it's one of the few times as well when they brought back a character from the dead and it's not horrible. Yeah, for so, sure. So, you know... I don't know what they're doing. I mean, yeah. if it's – and we mentioned this when the, the thing happened with the Scarlett Johansson contract mm-hmm. of, like, if they're doing that to, like, the biggest person. Then they're doing it to everybody. Doing it to everybody. everybody. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's – any any corporation, if they can get away with not paying you, yeah. they just won't do it. They'll absolutely not do it. Uh, who, who else could it be conceivably? Well, uh, so who did, like – Iron Man 3 made a billion. So Extremis, whoever did that, maybe? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, it could be any anybody who worked on like any Guardians of the Galaxy yep. stuff. Captain Marvel. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was a billion oh, dollars. Kelly Sue DeConnick who wrote yeah. that a lot of. Yeah, and it also could be. I think it also could be a case of even if they didn't create the character, it could also be a case of like we took your iconic story. Yeah. That reintroduced the character to the mainstream, and mm. we put that in the movie. And, yes. But but uh, it's ours, so we can. It do could be any of them. Yeah, it could really could be anybody. Yeah. So yeah. Not cool. Not cool. Bro. Yeah. I would say something if mm. I worked there. Oh, yeah. And then I'd get fired. So I probably wouldn't say anything. <laughs> That's so brave of you. Oh, <laughs> well, you know. Yeah. It's good to make a change. Be mm. the change in the world you want to see, That's you know? Right. Yeah. Mason, no, I know. I don't know, actually. I don't know. That do you, you know or do you not know? I don't know. Okay. I don't know if you know this, but we were going to talk about Free Guy this week. That's right. But Free Guy, uh, the cinemas are closed here at the moment. That's correct. Because they knew that Free Guy would, it would people would flock to it and they would tear them down in joy. Now, what they knew. What did they know? That, what they knew is that it's it's better to keep people in suspense over the existence or non-existence of Free Guy. Ah. It's a Schrodinger's Free Guy situation. Interesting. If they were to open the cinemas. Mm. Then we would go, we would buy a ticket, we'd go in and it would be, we would learn whether Free Guy was real or not real. That's and true. And we cannot have that. The we, world's not ready for it. We don't even know if it's if it's ever been out, if it's going to go out. <laughs> Has it been out for 100 years? It, was it just a trailer? <laughs> did they even make it? Yeah. We don't know. This Ryan Reynolds, he's tricky, isn't he? Maybe <laughs> he did just make a trailer. Got all his celebrity friends mm. in. Look at us, we're in a video game or whatever. Yeah. Shut it, up, Ryan Reynolds. You go in there and he's like, I'm in Greenland and the movie sucks or whatever. Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah, the movie. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just him saying that. Let's do a little jig. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, we're not having it. No. So what we decided to do this Also, week, they didn't let us buy tickets or go into it. No, the that's also true. But we are going to talk about. And that's also true. That's also true. <laughs> we are. We've done. Well, I'm sure we've talked about best or worst video game movies, but there that's is true. something interesting, I feel to me. About movies that are set around the concept of a video yeah, game. Yeah, right, right. As mentioned, they're you're drawn into a video game or it's about video gaming or cyberspace or the virtual world. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, or, yeah. or something to that effect. Yeah. Uh, so I've got a list here of things that like of that we're gonna go through. Just okay. it's one of those classic James and Mason vaguely remember a movie they've seen, or maybe Mason goes, Did you put in the guild? And I'm yeah. like, I don't know what that is. So I then, put it in. But then you you know what the guild is. I know now because yeah, okay, you told great. me, but I've never seen the guild. That's wild. To is me. it? Why is that wild? Because that was like a pioneering web series. Like it was a... There's only one pioneering web series, Mason. Go it's on. called that Mortal Kombat web series, whatever it was called. <laughs> yeah. Don't you that think? Mortal Kombat web series. <laughs> yeah, like that thing you do. 
Like not another teen movie. That Mortal Kombat movie. <laughs> so so what is it? Let's start here. Why not? Well, the guild is about a, a bunch of bloody bloody absolute no hopers. Wow. Who who play? Is this why you think I would like it? Yes. <laughs> anyway, they never leave their homes. Yep. They're just they're just filthy, just <laughs> unshowered wrecks. How's their body fat percentage? Um, they're skinny fat. <laughs> You'd look at them and you'd be like, I think they're skinny, but if you were to prod them, yeah. you'd be like, well, what the hell? Yeah, you, you know? can see your finger poke out the back of them. Yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. like, what? where are their bones? <laughs> but anyway, they all play a video, they all play like a massively multiplayer online role-playing game and they've never met, but then one day they're like, we're going to meet, you know? Okay. There's troubles are brewing, we're going to meet. And then they have conversations online and offline, they get into scrapes. Felicia Day is yes, behind I, that I she, did she know. She created and wrote it, she's yeah. in it. That's the one thing that I did recognise from it. Yeah, um, yeah. And apparently they still do stuff. I looked it up quite recently. Yeah. And they're they're doing like they get they get the uh the team together um and they and they like play Among Us Among Us. Among Us. Among Us. So do they always play real games? No, it's like a specific uh Oh my god, this started in two thousand and seven. Two thousand and seven, I told you. Jesus. They're the Knights of Good. They play an MMORPG video game called The Game, but I don't think we ever actually see it in motion. Okay. And I think that's probably for the best. There is another, there's a British series that is quite similar that I think I've mentioned on this show called Dead Pixels. Yes, I did. I nearly is, watched that the other and day. They, you nearly watched I it. nearly did. You nearly watched it. You were like, oh, I'm so hurting for entertainment here. Yes, I'm yes, so yes. short on content. Uh, and they, I think, I kind of think the downfall of that show is they do show the game. They've had to make the game so ah. in, in uh, within the context of the show. And I think it looks okay yeah. given that... It's an in-game whatever, whatever. Yeah, but, with, um, but it does not look like a real game that anyone would play ever, I don't There's think. that Apple Plus one or whatever that's about games or yes. whatever that's made by Ubisoft or behind it. Are they? A bunch of... What's it called? It's someone with Rob um, McElhenney and whatever. Yes. You know yeah. what I'm talking yeah. about. I'll, I was going to say earlier, uh, folks, this is also an episode where we vaguely mention a bunch of things and you're like, I know a lot about that. And, and I'm mad that... I'm mad that you <laughs> barely know anything. It's called Mythic Quest. Yes, which I do like a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that one, the in-game footage is quite good and they also use a lot of clips of like other stuff Yeah, right. in it as well. I did, know, I did not know Ubisoft was yeah. behind that. They're monsters as well. Well, I was going to like say, all video game is companies. this a... Do you reckon this is a... And because you, you they talk about crunch and like yeah and like diversity you sort of got to you got you sort of it's interesting because you just sort of got to factor in these days anytime anything is made you have to go okay the huge conglomerate that makes this what are they trying to deflect from yeah like for example I don't know if you read about it this week there is Amazon Prime is doing a a, a movie I think or a series with that starring Emily Blunt it's about the first Pinkerton detective okay. The the first, so the first because Jack Ryan was Amazon as well, is that yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So so Emily Blunt is going to be the first. Is going it's going to tell the story of the first female Pinkerton detective. Mm. The Pinkertons are famously like union busting, like they're a private investigation ah. team, and they're all about union busting. And guess who currently employs them? <laughs> it's Amazon, James. It's wow. not Emily Blunt. It's Amazon. So it's essentially like propaganda. I think it probably is. Well, yeah. Jack Ryan is just like propaganda. CIA propaganda. For CIA. They're a whole family of CIA propaganda. Yeah. I'm just saying. They also like they. I think they sued. They sued Rockstar, the Pinkerton Detective Agency, quite Why? recently because the Pinkertons are uh, portrayed as not in a particularly bad light. Right. Uh, and by a particularly bad light, I mean they're actual, like what they actually did. What they're doing the real they're, things that they're, they're, they're doing. the real things that they did. They're actually. They Wait, put so, them what in the game. era was this first Pinkerton or whatever? Like the um, like the cowboy era. Okay, that's why they're in Red Dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. That, and that brought it back to video games. There we go. Yeah, perfect. So, thank God. Anyway, watch the guild is what you're saying. What I'm saying is that maybe Mythic Quest was put out there because Ubisoft's like, yes, some stuff's going to come I, out about us. So. I agree. And it's also like, it's also interesting. It's also a good show. Yeah, you know, I, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's also like, if you go, here's some funny jokes about crunch. Yeah. When people hear about crunch in the real world, yeah. they go, oh, that's exactly all those funny crunch jokes. Pretty yeah. good, isn't it? If, it's you, not if you check out James Stephanie Sterling, you might know the Jim Quisition. Oh, yes. They're always banging on about it, and I love it. Every week it's like, just remember, this company's terrible. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like it. I think we should, uh, let's do the Tron movies, though. Okay. We've never done a Tron-centric episode, and we will when the Jared Leto third Tron movie comes out. Okay. Can't wait. Why'd they cast him? Don't know. <laughs> but, um, 
But uh, I think he got. I, I reckon he's one of those guys that he got a bunch of contracts in yeah. when he was hot stuff. Yeah, and then over the course of like a number of years, people like I don't know if people like this guy, but we <laughs> we we all we do all, we like him? But does, we we he's got all these ironclad contracts. I don't mean us. I mean the people oh, the in the boardrooms. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think because we don't. Yeah. Well, I don't. I, yeah, I think he signed some ironclad contracts, and they're yeah. like, all right, we got to make these. I guess we're doing more obvious. Yeah. Like, we're gonna do Thron. It's a Tron. <laughs> But you like Tron Legacy. I like, I like Tron Legacy a lot. Tron One is it's a, a real oddity. For its time. I mean, I think at the time it's not good even, <laughs> okay. but I think it's a fun oddity. Yeah. And what a swing. Yeah. But I just don't think it's good. I think it's weird and boring. <laughs> it's but boring. Not, not interesting. Weird. It is very. No, boring. it is interesting. Weird. Yeah. But but it's so boring. Yeah. But it's interesting. It's interesting. But it's. <laughs> But it's boring. <laughs> it's a boring movie and it's it's long. It takes forever. <laughs> looks like shit. Meandering. <laughs> it looks bad. <laughs> but again, you gotta remember at the time. Exactly. Yeah. It's like there's a whole there's whole and the way that they put it together, it's a lot of like it's a lot of it is not digital. Yes. The Corridor yeah. Crew guys did a bunch of stuff on it, but I know you talk about one thing in particular where they recreated the light cycle yeah. chase in like an afternoon. <laughs> yeah, and it yeah. looks better than the one they yeah. did at the time. But definitely groundbreaking. Yeah. But the second one, I should watch it again because it's quite good. It is good. Yeah. Put it on your big old TV. Put it on at 4K or whatever. Can I put it, it on amazing. this little TV? I mean, you, yeah. Do you want to do Tron Legacy for our for a commentary? No, it's boring. Let's do, Legacy? No, it's good. I like it. I don't know. I don't think. I don't know if people. Are, I don't know if people are as on board with it as as I am. But, I think uh, there's people, and the soundtrack's obviously amazing. It's uh, it's the best thing Daft Punk's ever done. I think. Really? Yes, I think so. See, it'd be interesting if they had of uh, if they'd have got a move on with it. That's the least derivative. Oh yeah. snap! Yeah, um, I can say that now because they're gone. They yeah. retired. No, they're behind you. Oh, no. <laughs> Their, their helmets filled up with red wine and cigarette ash and they had to retire. They had to retire the personas. But Tron Legacy is amazing to me also yeah. because... Why did they make it? Well, why did they make it? And <laughs> and it's fascinating to me that, you know, many of the people in it, you know, the originals still yeah. had careers and they're just like, so it's, we can bring back Jeff it's Bridges. Jeff, and who's the other one? Bruce... Bruce Boxleitner. Boxleitner, I guess yeah. it's only the two guys. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, that's all you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was also this... Okay, for, also, people might not know... Tron is about a man yes. who, who gets sucked into a computer. Correct. And then he has to fight a computer, Correct, the yes. mainframe or something. It's slightly more complicated than that. No, it's I not. Shan't, but I shan't, <laughs> I shan't bore you with it, yes. And then the second one, mm-hmm. it's his son, and he's disappeared because he got sucked into a computer. His father disappeared, yes. 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 And so, but his father has built an avatar of himself who now runs the Tron dimension. Yes. Who's still looks like his father did when he was young. More or less, yes. Yeah, more or less. Well, there's some... It's good. Like, they, it, they've de-aged him. Yes. And it's one of the earliest examples of that, and it's mostly pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's also very uncanny, which also works yeah. because he's a CGI man or whatever. Yeah. Except, Except there's, there is a brief... The there's a brief... Uh, he's in the real world and yeah. whatever. Yeah. But, yeah. And it's got, like, um, Garrett Hedlund. Yes. And it's got Olivia Munn. Yeah, and there is a... Is it Olivia a- Munn? It's Olivia Munn. Yeah. Wait, no, Olivia it's Olivia Wilde. Wilde. Yeah. yeah. And there's a, there is a brief uncredited Killian Murphy cameo. Yes. Because they were setting him up to be in a third one, which never happened. Would have liked but to anyway, have seen it's, that. It's just, it's a, it's a, it's a visual tour de force. You kind of have to see, no, you don't have to, I reckon you can go into the second one. But I, I don't know how they made it. Only, all I know is that some, like somebody with some sort of production know-how mm. got Jeff Bridges in to do a. A, like a short or like something? Like a concept yeah. trailer. Yeah. And that became, and it's it's not quite the same as what the the final product. Yeah. But, the, but the, just the concept of like an older Jeff Bridges, Kevin Flynn character who's been trapped in this universe for a yeah. long time and, the, and you know, the, the deadly light cycle race and all that mm. sort of stuff. And then it got enough juice from Disney that they're like, we'll make, we'll make yeah. a full length version of this. And nobody saw it. No. So. Oh, it didn't, it didn't, the worst. Mm. Let me check the numbers on that. But. God damn, it looks good. And the sound design. Yeah, yeah. It's not, I don't think it's like a complete hit. No. Like all around. But then again, I haven't seen it since. So it was, it, it cost $170 million. It's probably, and it made, yeah. And it made 400 which is pretty good considering yeah. it's a fucking Tron sequel. Mm. The Wizard. And Michael Sheen's in it. Is it like a. Oh, he's a weird David Bowie yeah. robot yeah, man yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. The Wizard. And it, oh, by the way, everything from the first one is back except it looks. Good. Yeah. So no, they take cool. like, they have like this discus frisbee game where if you get yeah. hit, you turn into pixels or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they've changed it into like blocky. Mm. God damn, it's good. And the light cycle stuff, it's all good. 
Uh, the Wizard. You yeah. know about The Wizard, right? Yeah. 1989. Yeah. It's essentially, it's about uh, getting a young boy across the country to play in a Super Mario Brothers tournament. Yes, and it, it, it is it is a, it's a, it's a shameless advertisement for yes. all of Nintendo's products and the upcoming Super Mario Brothers 3. That was the big reveal. The big the, reveal in, in the, the movie. And then they did. <laughs> On par with Empire Strikes Back reveal. Maybe know? it was. I think for kids it was, though, right? Yeah. I was a bit. I didn't know Mario when this came out, yeah, right. so I wasn't like, "Oh my god, it's Mario!" Like, this Mario three for me has always like existed. Yeah, right. <laughs> but did it blow your mind? This movie yes. you didn't see. Yes. Okay. It did. <laughs> I didn't see it in cinemas. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think. I, I think it's more of those VHS ones that Definitely, people yeah. know. Yeah. But it's like people would know the memes and like the power glove and yeah, the light yeah. and the zapper gun and uh-huh. and whatever and pretty bold and. They've never really done anything like that since. Yeah. Yeah. Can you look it up real now quick? Now they do Nintendo Directs. That's true. What am I looking up? <laughs> Could you look up and see if anybody who was in that has gone on to any kind of like... Well, it stars um, Fred Savage. Oh, right. Uh, Bring it back, I say. I agree. Yeah. The Wizard cast. Here we go. Bring it back. Why Christian Slater's in it. Okay. Bo Bridges is in it. Another Bridges. Bridges. My God. Um, Imagine those two dueling franchises. Jeff Bridges brings back Tron Legacy and Bo Bridges <laughs> is like, well, I got to I gotta bring back the wizard. <laughs> so there you go. There's some people in it. Okay, well. But, yeah, it was criticized at the time of just like, this is an ad. It is. <laughs> it is an yeah. ad. Yeah. So there you go. I don't have anything else to say other than I never cared about it. We should it. watch it, though, I think. Why? Because just to see how bad it is. All right. Do a commentary on it. Okay, great. No. No. <laughs> it also does that thing of like the autistic kid who's really a genius and whatever. Oh, was, it, was that? Okay, so right. There's that subplot yeah, right, right. of which I okay. hate. Mm. Uh, and it, not because I, just, I should clarify because the portrayals of autism in movies and TV is often not very good. Mm-hmm. And it's just like you're either a super genius one second and then you're slapping your head in the yeah, next yeah, second. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Anyway, whatever. wreck Ralph movies. Yes. I've only seen wreck Ralph one. And mm-hmm. it's ba- he's basically. Have you seen any of them? No, I've not seen a record. So he's like a he's a Donkey Kong kind of dude. Yes, uh huh. And he's so he's the bad guy in a game, and Ralph comes along, and he's he's up the top, and he's like, "I'm gonna wreck it," and he has to. Yeah, yeah It's yeah, Donkey right. Kong. Sure. They've made, mm-hmm. but it's interesting because wreck Ralph is set in an arcade, and they okay. jump from cabinet to cabinet, okay. right? Mm-hmm. But the other thing is, there are real video game characters in it. Sure. So like Bowser's in it. Okay. And like Sonic and they just kind of make little cameos and okay. he's in like a bad guy but support But in a Space group. Jam 2 kind of No, way. it's a good movie. Okay. And apparently the, sec- the second one's also good. So uh, yeah, worth watching, definitely. Like no. especially if you've got kids or whatever. But Don't. Fun. John Can't C. Riley as a regular man? Yeah, definitely. John C. Riley is Ralph. Oh. And the second one is called wreck it Ralph to Break the Internet. It's not what it's called. No, it's called Breaks the Internet. Yes. It is. And he's got the champagne flute in his butt and he's popping the, the cork <laughs> over his head. Wow. It's true. Wow. It's true, Mason. Look it up. I've on the internet. I don't want to look up. I don't want to put that combination of search terms in my in my Google. I bet that the, exists. The police will be called. I bet that exists. Great. I'm glad for everybody who did that. Do you want to talk about the original free guy? Gamer. The movie Gamer. Oh, my God. It's not the original Free Guy. I've seen the movie Gamer. <laughs> Why isn't it the original Free Guy? Because that's not... It, it, it's it, not about... No, it it's all. a different plot. <laughs> What's the plot of Gamer? Uh, is death it, Row. They're on Death oh, Row or something. Oh, that's right. And people control Death Row inmates. Yeah. In it's real, Call in of Duty, real but real. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they put prison inmates. They put a thing in the back. Dexter Morgan. Yes. My, Michael C. Hall. Michael C. Hall? Yes. Puts like a thing in the back of the head and then you can control them in a real environment. Yeah, but what they didn't count on is Jerry Butler. They didn't know. <laughs> they didn't know that they put in actor Jerry Butler and he's a killing machine. That's right. And then he ends up shooting Dexter Morgan at the end. Huh. I believe. Okay. And Terrific. Logan Lerman is like the kid. Who's Logan Lerman? He's the Percy Jackson kid. Okay. And is Amy smart in this movie? It's great. Feels, feels like a movie Amy Smart would be. Yeah, because she's like, you got to come home because we've got a kid. And he's like, I oh, can't, I'm a gamer. Oh, you know, we we mentioned the other week, what's Amy Smart up to? Because we did a crank commentary. We did. Uh, she's in Stargirl. Oh, is she? Yeah. There she's you go. the mum. You're thinking Stargirl. of Amber Valenta. Okay, great. Who's in it. Great. You idiot. You absolute cretin. Is she giving off, is she giving off Amy Smart vibes? Very though? much so. That's yeah, what I can I see thought. why you made this. Uh, ha ha. She was, she was in, what is she in? I know her in things. In the movie Gamer, obviously. Mm. Oh, she's in Hitch. She's Kevin James's uh, love interest in oh, that. There you go. Nice. Wow, that's fun. Here's a question for you. Mm-hmm. I know you haven't seen it, but I have to ask. 
Have I seen it? Whatever it is. The movie Pixels, the original gamer. I've not seen the original movie <laughs> Pixels. <laughs> what is Pixels, do you know? It's the Kevin Kevin James, as yep. we mentioned. And the Adam Sandler. Yes. And a third and fourth guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One of them might be Josh Gad. One of them might be Josh um, Gad. Also, Kevin James is the president in that. Uh, anyway, aliens come to Earth. Yes. <laughs> And they take the form of classic video game characters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's kind of like Ghostbusters. Yes. Because they're like a Ghostbusting team or whatever. Mm -hmm. Except that's they're all pixels. It's you know, it's Donkey Kong and it's Pac-Man and fucking whatever. I remember Donkey Kong and Pac-Man. But the thing is as well, I don't know if you've ever seen the short film that this is based on. I have seen that's the one thing I have seen. God damn, it's good. Yeah. And they just but you know what? I haven't seen it. Yeah, Maybe yeah. it's really good. But by all accounts, it's not very good at all. Uh-huh. And I it's, just, it's it's an Adam Sandler movie of that era. Yeah. Mm, so bad. So which, which also could be this era. Who knows? Who knows what he's doing? Uncut Gems. Yeah. But then he'll be like, um, remember he said if he didn't win the Oscar, he was going to make like the worst movie ever. Or and then whatever. he made um, that murder mystery movie or something. I think that was before. Oh, then, no, then he made Hubie Halloween. Oh, yes. I didn't say that. No. I didn't mind murder mystery though. I didn't mind it either. Yeah, and they, but I just, I think I've even said this on the show, but I think Pixels was such an interesting concept that they just completely, just wasted. What could they also have gone? at the end? Yes, <laughs> there's a sexy video game girl in it, like a digital okay. woman, and I, and Josh Gad is in love with her because she's from a game or something. Okay, I think I saw this in reviews. So I haven't seen the actual movie. Okay. I think I've watched like extensive reviews about this, <laughs> and and she dies or something. And at the end, he becomes friends with Cubit, and Cubit. Oh, he then... takes the form of the sexy lady. Yes. Okay, right. <laughs> I don't know what that means. No. So that's good, I guess. That's great. Is that how Cubit ends? I hope so. Yep. <laughs> this is something a bit more low budget, okay. but it's not without its charms. The angry video game nerd of the movie. Can I ask before we get onto that? Sure. Because I'm very excited to discuss the angry video game mm. nerd of the movie. What would you have changed in the movie Pixels? Like, how would you have made it a better film? I wouldn't have given it to any of those people. Okay, sure. I mean, imagine if you did it. I would. I would aim for Ghostbusters. Okay, and but then, weren't they aiming for Ghostbusters? You would think. I don't think. No, so. they would have because you know Adam Sandler's an SNL guy. I guess. And Josh Gad is in it. I guess, and he's maybe in it. Maybe he's been on SNL. Uh, maybe, maybe he's hosted it once. I don't know. I don't know either. Maybe he's not in it at all. Yeah. But I mean, what would you? You know that 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 is the Ghostbusters formula. Yeah, because you have a you have a mysterious happenings. Okay, then, here, you go. You here you go. Here you go. Here's, SNL guys. here's what I'd do. Yes, I'd make it funny. <laughs> oh, nice, perfect. Okay, no, I don't no, know how. No further questions. <laughs> but I think, like, if it's funny, you can forgive a lot, right? Yeah, for sure. You know, and weirder, weird, obscure stuff, I guess. Okay, um, Carmen San Diego could be in it. Sexy lady or whatever, you know what I mean? People sure. love that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Angry video game nerd the movie. Okay, I'm listening. This is like the Jay and Silent Bob of like low budget whatever. You know, there's been a lot of like YouTubers who make yes. movies. Mm-hmm. And look, if you like the angry video game nerd, <laughs> it's just that. You know okay. what I mean? Like he's doing a little adventure and he does a little review okay. in it. And it's about unearthing the E.T. Oh, the buried ET video games. Yeah, which at the time when he started writing it was a rumor, but before it came out, it was proven to be real. Yes. And it's also, but they couldn't use ET for licensing purposes, so they had to like recreate the game for the review. So at the end, he does the review, because that's always been the review that people wanted him to do. Okay, right. And look, it's an astounding effort, but if you don't know who he is, yes. it's nonsense. Like you would be like, I don't know what, I don't get this. Okay. So you you know you, I mean? you've seen I've this. I've seen it, yeah. Because, huh. you know, I like him and, yeah, you know, why not, you know? Yeah. He's still doing it. I think we talked about it. When did you see this? When it came out? It would have been around then, maybe not <laughs> straight away. Oh, I but... think you saw it straight away. <laughs> I think you rushed out. You know, I think you were probably in school or whatever. And you're like, a, Whoa. Whatever it cost, and you know what I mean. And you know, because I'd watched his content for years yeah, for yeah. free. So, so why not? You know what I mean. But again, if you're not a fan, I think you should watch it anyway. If you're not a fan, <laughs> and tell us what you thought about it. <laughs> why not? Yeah. Absolutely, why not? Maybe he'll get a new fan. Maybe he will. Yeah. The two Manji movies, not the first Jumanji, yes, or the movies of Thura, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but this, but the two Manjis, two Manjis after that. Mm. They're in a video game, sort of. It sure are. Because even though it's like a magic board game that mm-hmm. becomes a 90s Sega Mega Drive yes. system or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's they do like they have like NPCs and like quests and video game powers and I think this is that's probably the peak of the uh yeah. of the of this genre we've uh, 
we've uh, come up with here, which is the uh, movies that are sort of video game ish. Was the peak for you when Donald Glover? No, Danny Glover, mm-hmm. Donald Glover's father. Mm-hmm. Um, Officially, they're not related, but uh, he turned into a horse at the end. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, they're pretty good, right? Yeah. That's. I mean, that, if anything, that's probably the peak of human culture. Wow. Is Danny Glover <laughs> becoming a horse on screen? <laughs> So there you go. I yeah. think it's um yeah, I think they're fun and you know and they're not as scary as like first real ju- life. Yeah, <laughs> that that is certainly true. So if you're like, oh, I'm scared right now. Yeah. I wish I was doing something wasn't so scary. What's the rock? What should you mind you move? Punch or whatever, whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now um I've put in brain scan. What is that? I don't know. I just I've put, never I put heard question of that mark, thing you said. So can you help me? No, I can't. I don't know what brain scan is. I don't know what scanners is, but I don't think that's what Okay, you're... let's not talk about it then. Let's talk about... No, I think you should Google it real quick and just right, read fine. out the synopsis and we'll, we'll say definitively whether it's good or not. All right. Maybe we'll find a new pinnacle. There we go. It's so a 1994. Okay, we have to read it out and we have to determine whether or not this is better than Danny Glover becoming a horse in a video game. I'm just going to read you the plot and it okay. starts with this. A lonely boy named Michael Bauer, Edward Brower, Edward Furlong, oh, lives in an isolated existence in his absent father's mansion. Michael's mother was killed in a car accident. Oh, that's fun. Which also permanently injured his leg. Disagree. I don't think From it's From his bedroom window, he spends his spare time watching his crush, a typical girl next door. What does that even mean? A typical girl next you door. You know, straw sun hat, <laughs> riding a bicycle with a basket on the front. Lounging by what a, a straw. Straw La- basket, you know. Lying on a bale of hay. Yeah, 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 bale of hay. Sure, in a sure. meadow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chewing on some straw. Chewing on some straw, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Who unbeknownst Occasionally to- killing a chicken with an axe. <laughs> unbeknownst to Michael, feels the same way. Oh! They're both a huge fan of horror and video games, and Michael's only friend is a similarly minded friend named Kyle, and blah, blah, blah. When gets, when's the brain scan uh, happen? Anyway. Oh my God. They're members of a horror club at I wonder school. if nobody's heard of this, because nobody's getting their brain scanned. The principal bans horror club. So Kyle tells Michael about a new ultra-realistic game called Brain Scan. Uh-huh. Intrigued, Michael sends away for a first disc, and the game begins strangely with a warning screen information uh, uh, informing him that the experience has much in common yes. with hypnotic suggestion. Oh. And during his first experience with the game, Michael is encouraged to act as a psychotic murderer by the game's host, an uh, entity known as Trickster. In-game, Michael murders a stranger and takes his foot as a trophy. Later, he's horrified to discover that his victim in the game was a real person. Whoa. And the same murder also happened in the real. Okay, so he's doing murders and then it's real. Whoa. Got it. Great. I mean, I feel like you probably could have skipped Horror Club. Like, you could have gone bra- straight to the, the brain scan. People didn't like it. Got 30% on Tomatoes. Whoa. Uh, offers a zero in the way of sick thrills. Mm. But I know. But anyway, do you, are you familiar with Serenity 2019? I'm going to spoil it. It's a Matthew McConaughey movie. And anyway, it turns out at the end, the whole thing yes. is a is a video game that Matthew McConaughey's son has created, and he's dead, and then he's playing as his father in a virtual world or something. Oh my god! Did you know about this? No, nope, not at all. Anne Hathaway. Oh, so yeah, there you go. Okay, all right. Do you remember that episode of Red Dwarf? Which one? And yes, the episode where they 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 all go down to like a like an undersea uh, like a like an undersea base, yeah. and then they wake up. And yeah. they, they believe they they come to believe the Suicide Squad, Suicide Squid episode. Yeah, they come yeah. to believe that they have actually been playing a video game called the Red Dwarf Total Immersion game. Yeah, remember that? I do. And Crichton is Jake Bullet. Yes, and uh, and Cat is Dwayne Dibley. Yes, and then the other two. Remember yes, that? I do remember that. Just remember that. It's good stuff. Good episode. There's a lot of VR in. Anyway, Red this Dwarf. is the Red Dwarf episode. This, oh, is all we, this is all we're doing. You can <laughs> all the times we've talked about Red Dwarf, you can Mash pin them together, together. pin them together, the, yeah, pin them together. I know you've seen this because we watched it together. War Games. Remember this one? Uh, Matthew yes. Roderick yes. has to fight a computer. Mm-hmm. He has to convince a computer not to nuke everything. He has to fist fight a computer. Queensbury rules. That's right. <laughs> no biting. It's a lot of dialing up things and getting... Remember he has to dial up to get his video games every week or something yeah. or whatever? Hell yeah. I didn't like it. Okay. Uh, maybe it was... Beloved at the time, but it did get like a directed DVD sequel a few years did back. It? Yeah, it did. More games. More games. More games, two more games. And at the end, he beats the computer okay. by making it play tic tac toe against itself. Oh. And then it was at an impasse, and then it went, maybe war not good. Oh. Maybe no war games. Oh. Let's wait for the sequel. Okay. And then Ready Player One happened. We should talk about that, I guess. Okay. It's bad. 
Is it? I mean, it is, but it's yeah. not as bad as I thought it was going to be. No, that's true. Honest. Yeah, I still haven't read the book. Yeah, are you going to? Maybe. People say you'll love it. People say even if you didn't love the movie, you Nick Mason should give it a chance. Who's saying that? People email you, didn't they? People said Nick Mason. Oh, a few a people did. Yeah, okay, actually, yeah, you're right. Are you going to do it? Yeah, maybe. You won't do it. No, if I have an extraordinary amount of free time, which I've had in the you know, in the <laughs> last year, and I still haven't done it, so exactly. Lawnmower Man. Hell yeah. We did a game once on it. We played the Lawnmower Man Super Nintendo game. Oh, that's right. It was awful. Go Man of Garbage. Yeah. It's the Stephen King. What is Lawnmower Man about? The movie or the, the short story? Whatever. The, mo- the short story is literally about a man who kills other people with a lawnmower. Okay. And the other Lawnmower Man's about the power of virtual reality. <laughs> What do they remember have? when virtual reality was invented? And people were like, what could this do? Maybe it can do anything. <laughs> Let's make a movie about how virtual reality can do anything. And then they released it, and then two days later, people were like, can't really do anything at all. <laughs> it can give you motion sickness if you stand in a little circle Does with, it a make big, a man's... with a 20-pound helmet on your head. <laughs> give you a neck cramp. Yeah, that's what it can do. Does it make a man smart or something? It does make a man smart. And, but then he goes mad? And he goes mad. There was Lawn 2 Man, Lawn 2 Man, the second one, wasn't it? It was a sick sequel. Oh, then, yeah, maybe. Lawn Becomes Man. <laughs> That's right. I don't know. They put the lawn, they put the lawn <laughs> clippings in the virtual reality machine. It became super smart lawn. Became uh, artificial turf. I, I only have one more that I want to talk about, but okay. I, I know there are many more. And maybe you have ones that you would like to talk about. I mean, maybe on a subsequent episode. Uh, but virtual. This has gone on long enough. I agree. Virtuosity. Yes. The first team up between Russell Crowe and Denzel Washington. They pretended that they'd never worked together before when they were in American Gangster. Mm-hmm. But little did they know. That we've seen the movie Virtuosity. <laughs> Which was from 94 or 95. Mm-hmm. And it's all the serial killers in the world. Yes. Blood and brains go together to make a virtual man. Correct, yes. Called Mr. Virtuosity. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Basically, somebody saw Romper Stomper and went, "What if Romper Stomper, but he was a he was, he like was a an, plastic he was man. an AI man or whatever?" And he, what if a- Romper Stomper plus Max Headroom? It's basically that is like. exactly what it is. Yeah. So Russell Crowe gets out in the real world, and then because um, they put his they put his virtual personality too close to a a, a nanite machine, yeah, that makes him a body, a three D printer or something, yeah, yeah it's yeah. glass. And then at the end. And then Denzel Washington was in jail or something, and then they're like, we're going to get you out of jail so you can fight. Mr. Virtuosity Mr. himself. <laughs> That's right. Virgilosity. <laughs> That's right. And so it just kind of, there's a lot of running about a city and diffusing bombs maybe. Yeah, I don't know. It's the future kind of. Is it? Don't know. <laughs> we should watch that again. Yeah. I remember thinking it was It's probably unavailable. Insanity. I reckon Denzel and Russell Crowe have like combined their fortunes. They've, pull, they've pulled their fortunes to have it removed from everything probably. Let me check. It's a 95 film. It, uh, it had a bo- it, it cost thirty million and it made twenty four million. That's less than it cost to make. It's on Prime Video to rent. Should be think? free. Should be free. I okay, agree. Let yeah. me check if I can. Uh, I'm just going to email them. Should be free. That's <laughs> 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 no, to buy. It's thirteen dollars, but to rent it's four. So, okay. You know, All right. Something to think about. It is something to think about, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's it though for me. Yeah. Yeah. I got any faves? Is it the two mungies? Is it Tron Legacy? Uh... It's Tron Legacy. Is it? It's not as an e- it's not as easy accessible a, a world mm. as Jumanji is. Like Jumanji's like, oh, of course they're in video games. Of course it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think I think I think Tron Legacy is a better world. Yeah, I agree. With I wouldn't that. want to live in it. No, but it looks cool. Would you want to live in the Tumanji world? No, because you're always getting stung by big scorpions or whatever. And doors at the end, right? Yeah, I'm not retired James Bond. I don't want to get stung by scorpions. <laughs> It's true. So it's a scorpion under a shot glass or whatever. Uh, oh, thank you. I'm just reading here. Free guys had a, a 26.4 opening a million opening weekend. That's okay, I guess. That's okay. Is um, it, wait, is it getting? It's getting a cinema release though as well. Yes. Yeah, so that that's seems just low. Cinema. Seemed, yeah, it does a bit. Yeah. Because Suicide Squad had about that. Suicide Squad's doing quite well though, isn't it? Uh, I like no, it's, it's had a massive drop off oh, apparently. No. But you know, what do you do? I if I was James Gunn, honestly, yes, I wouldn't care. Because huh. it's good. Yeah, yeah. And we're in a pandemic mm. and whatever. Exactly. And people will see it and eventually. And you'd embrace your grey hair. I would. You'd be like, this doesn't make me look old. This makes me look distinguished. I think he looks better with a beard and grey hair. I think so Maybe too. I'm just projecting, Mason. But I think it's who he is at his core. Mm. Anyways, I'm off to dye my hair jet black. <laughs> okay, off you go. <laughs> oh, I'm no, really he's, leaving. He's leaving. He's dyeing his eyebrows on the way out of the door. <laughs> 
His eyebrows are so black now. Any, anything else? Because if not, no, no. we can do the next segment. Okay. We're doing it? Here yeah. we go. Let me, Get the uh, cup going, James. Let me bring it up. He's let bringing me bring it up. It up. Bring up the next segment. Here, Here it we comes. go. Here we go. It's coming in hot. Here we go. Let me check. All right, he's checking the gate. Oh my god, I'm just thinking about virtuosity. <laughs> Every day. Here we go. What are we reading, Thame? What happens in that? <laughs> like, no, like what doing... notable action sequence is happening? He's <laughs> just eating glass. He's just mostly eating glass, isn't he? Yeah. What are we Westworld. <laughs> Speaking of virtual worlds, Westworld. Sort oh of. yeah, that's sort a virtual of? world. Yeah. Sort of. Mm-hmm. It's more of a robot world. Yeah. But in a way. Go on. It's bloody society, isn't it? Everyone's a bloody robot <laughs> droning on their way to bloody work and the bloody, I mean, you're bloody, you're bloody getting your car and you drive bloody 50 minutes to work and you're 50 minutes, who's the real bloody robot, you know what I mean? Yeah. Still robots, obviously. Yeah, 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 like Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Terminator and stuff. He's that robot. was fiction, though. He's uh, not really a robot. No, that's actually Skeleton true. is normal skeleton. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What have you been what have I'd you been like reading? to see a skeleton, though. Do you know what I mean? Oh. Just give me a peek. Let me know for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, a, just give just me the, a – just yeah. let me see a little bit of it. Mm. <laughs> well, what I've been doing – I said I was going to play a Plague Tale last week. Do you remember? I do remember that, yeah. But I have been button mashing my way through the Matrix Path of Neo. <laughs> <laughs> because we're going to do caravans of garbage. Yes, it's like Attorneys General caravans of garbage. That's right, and that's on the Matrix movies next week. Okay, not this week. So you've been playing the video game that is sort of based on. It's not sort of. It is strictly based on, and some bonus stuff. Okay, and some deviations from the norm. Yes, um, of the the original Matrix trilogy. Yes. So this isn't this isn't. Enter, Enter the, the Matrix. Matrix. This is no. Path of Neo. Okay. I think we might do Enter the Matrix as a, s- a separate entity because it is okay. in a way because it's they filmed a bunch of stuff while they were filming the Matrix okay. sequels. Yeah. So are you enjoying this? You know, I kind of am. Okay. I mean, it sucks and it's really janky, but it's kind of amazing at the it same time. It was amazing time. at the time, yeah. I feel. Like, it's always been janky and yeah. it always has looked like shit. Yes. Like the character models, my God. Because it was like the same year as like – God of War and Prince of Persia and yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. but all the characters look like, and all the and all the settings mostly look like the stuff you find in an open world era of the game, where there's oh. like really flat detail to yeah, it. Yeah, right, right, right. So it's something you'd find in like the Getaway. Remember, like that Grand Theft Auto off. Because yeah, yeah. then you look at like God of War and Prince of Persia, and all the rooms are designed so beautifully and crafted. Mm-hmm. This is like this is an alley. I don't know, you know. <laughs> But it's kind of amazing, honestly. Yeah. And uh, I think we're going to slip a little bit of it into every episode that we do. Okay, sure. If I can get it running properly, which I'm still having some problems with. Okay. But um, we'll see how we go. Yeah. What have you been doing? I've been watching Hacks. Hacks? Which is an HBO TV series. Hacks? Yeah, Hacks, James. Tell me about it. Well, it's a it's an HBO series. I think it's uh, pronounced Hacks. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> so we go on. Well, I'll leave that to you. I'll just point if I need it said. <laughs> Um, that has gotten 15 Emmy, Emmy nominations. So oh, all wow. of a sudden, Australia's like, we should probably get on this. Yeah. So it's available on Stan if you're in Australia. And oh, basically, I have seen this come up. Yeah. Up. So it's it's Gene Smart and Hannah, Einben, uh, mm. Hannah Einbinder is her name. Uh, one plays sort of a uh, like a legendary veteran comedian, sort of like a um, – Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers. There we go. That's exactly what I'm t- mm. thinking of, who's just done like – 2,000 dates at Vegas, and she's kind of like on cruise control. Like she's very successful. She's she's, yeah. she's done it all, but she's kind of like creatively and like passion-wise she's on the decline. Yeah. And then we've got on the other side we've got kind of a young comedy writer, and she's just been cancelled because uh, she did an off-colour tweet on like a slow news day, uh, and yeah, she got yeah. piled on, and then she fought back, and then people yeah. were like, well, we're not hiring you. We're, we're dumping you from – jobs and we're not going to hire you or yeah. whatever. And so uh, they both need each other. One wants to get some relevance and one wants a job. So mm. they've got to they gotta team up. So Sounds a bit like funny people. Is that what funny, what happens in funny people? Have you seen funny people? Yeah, a long time Adam ago. Adam Sandler and Seth Rogen's yeah, yeah, button yeah, jokes yeah. from or whatever. Eric I mean, Banner? doesn't get cancelled. Eric Banner's yes. in that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's too long. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, but it's got some good stuff yeah, in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm, I will watch that. It sounds fun. funny also, yeah. right? Right? Yeah. It's comedy drama. That's what I like. Did you ever watch that Jim Carrey, I'm So Depressed or whatever show? Uh, no. What's it called again? Happy? Funny? I don't uh, know. Hey, you. Look at, look at this. My poster, there's a cloud in my poster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sad. Happy, yes. Happy, sad? Happy, sad. Yep. That's it. Something like that. I'm going to look it up real quick. i got to know. i got to know the I answer. I can look it up okay, if you please. want also. Yeah. Jim. Ke- happy, sad? Fun, fun, happy. Fun, fun man, but he's sad. Sad. I'm sad. Kidding. There we go. Okay. I'm sad though. Kidding though. 
I think his family died in it or something. Oh my god! What's some of it? And Jim I'm like, Carrey's done a lot of just a so lot of sad. completely under the radar stuff. Didn't he also do a thing with either Elijah Wood or Daniel Radcliffe? The mask? No, <laughs> that thing where they're 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 in a check. cult or something. Jim Carrey. Let yeah. me, is it a series? I mean, he's rich, so he can do anything. Yeah, he just does. He just does like portraits of George W. Bush. You know, and they've got devil horns or whatever. Oh, that's cutting. That's right, Is yeah. he allowed to get away with that? No. Wow, that's... The some... police are on their way to his mansion. Is this guy anti-vax as well? Mm, Dark he... crimes? He was for a while. No, 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 no. The Bad Batch? Nope. Kids? Nope. Saturday Night Live? What era are you looking at? I'm looking... This is recent era. <laughs> okay. So it was Sonic the Hedgehog. I'll just look up Jim Carrey, Elijah Wood. How yeah, about see that? See that comes up. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind nope. is a movie that they were in together. <laughs> There you go. Well, that's, what was the other person you said might have been in might it? Might have been Daniel Radcliffe. It says they've never met. Whoa. <laughs> oh my God. My God. I don't know, man. Okay, I'll think of it. I'll look it up later. I'll it'll I'll do some original research. Please do. I'll Photoshop their faces together. I'm sorry if he's sharing a sharing a ice cream sundae. <laughs> I'm sorry if he's not anti-vax, because he might not be. Okay. So I don't actually know. There is a lot of results for Jim Carrey anti-vax. Why am I doing this to myself? I don't know. Should we go to do letters? Why do I? I'm still looking. Okay. What else have you been doing, James? You've been reading a thing, watching a thing? Yeah. Great. <laughs> Great stuff. I don't know, man. Just banging about, locked yeah, down, doing yeah. homeschooling. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bunch of that stuff. Yeah. You know? Claire was on an episode of Do Go On. Oh, she was recently. on Do Go On. She yeah. did Sex in the City. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's cool. So if you want to know which Sex in the City character is represented by which Ninja Turtle, that will tune tell on you. in, yeah. That will tell you, and it's hot stuff. It is I hot stuff. I listened to it and I loved it. I've also seen every episode of that show, and I'm looking forward to the reboot. Not reboot, continuation, because they're going to kill Big. I can't wait. I suspect. Are they, they going to execute him? I hope so. In the streets? No, Tiananmen Square. Oh, my God. Yeah. He gets at a time machine. He gets up back there. He's like, what's going on? Wow. And you know? And this is the only thing he's left. is like He's just like a squish like a roll of toothpaste with a cigar wow. sticking out the top. Mr. Big and Flat. <laughs> That's what he would be. So there you go. I oh, have to kill him because she has to be single. Otherwise, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, I guess that's I'm a, married yeah. and my I'm I'm awful and my husband's awful, which is what they, those movies ended up being. Yeah, I guess it was. Yeah, okay. I guess that, there's no appeal to that. It couldn't. You couldn't just be like, oh, I long for something else, and yeah. then he gets killed by the tank. <laughs> Squish like a roll of toothpaste. Mason. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Just a big and wide and flat. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I think Chris Noth hates that character also. Really? So I'd be happy to go. Okay. And Samantha's not in it, so I don't okay. know how it's going to go. Mm. Probably not good, but I'm still going to watch it. All right, anything else? Should we do the letters segment? What do you got? Anything else for you? Ah. Jim Carrey anti vax? I don't know, man. (laughs) We should ask him. We should should also ask him about that show he did with either Daniel Radcliffe or Elijah. Doesn't exist, Mason. Feel. (laughs) Maybe I am thinking of kidding. Maybe there's somebody in that who looks kind of Elijah Woody. Well, he hasn't done that much, like, recently. Like, did you see Elijah Wood on Hot Ones this week? I did. Good, good episode. I like that guy a lot. Mm hmm. Unless he's anti-vax. Yeah, then. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's do letters. Let's do it. The classic one was, Letters, oh, letters, we love you. Some letters, they're only a take away. I'm going to hear right now, we're going to do letters. <laughs> yeah, it's time for letters. That's right. And what I love, oh, yeah, it's about the death of one of his sons. Why would I watch that? No fucking thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, shows can be about anything, but that is like... No, no, thank you, folks. If you want to get in contact with us, you can Sorry, go to like a... at gmail.com. <laughs> this is from Meg. Hi, Meg. Uh, hello, gentlemen. Hello. Super huge fan of the pod here. Uh, just listened to the Caravan of Garbage episode about Suicide Squad 2016. Mm. We were talking about Jared Leto's Joker performance. I am a human woman from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and was here during the filming of Suicide Squad. <gasps> I mean, this. It makes me think you're some sort of alien person. Yeah, the way you said that. said that, but that's all right, fine. Take it as given. Uh, (laughs) One time I was walking home with my lady pal of mine at 3 a.m. The streets were empty and quiet. 3 a.m. must Must be lonely. lonely. The streets were empty and quiet. Suddenly we heard this howl shriek laugh behind us. I was so startled I nearly peed. We turned around. It was Jared Leto on a bicycle. He had battery acid, (laughs) green hair, and was in character as the Joker. He shrieked laugh once again and pedaled away. We yelled after him, F you, Jared Leto, because how dare someone's method acting get in the way of having unsoiled pants. <laughs> you can only imagine how furious we were when Suicide Squad came out and Jared Leto wasn't in it at all. <laughs> He'd spent weeks terrorising our city for absolutely no reason. Thank you uh, so much for all the work you do, your friend Meg. 
Can I be the official Torontonian Night Owl of the podcast? Yes, you can. That's great. Because oh, that's, I love everything we, about that. We don't think about how much he would have affected the normal people yeah. of the world because it's all like, oh, he, taught, he, uh, you know, he tormented Margot Robbie and Will Smith or whatever, but he would have spent weeks if not months in that gear. Just everybody just, just around. Wandering around. Going to a Tim Hortons. Oh, God. You know, people are trying to order their Tim Hortons. Just trying to pay with used condoms. That's right. If he at, pays at all. At a Tim Hortons. <laughs> That's a local reference people know. It's a coffee. It's like a Dunkin' I Donuts. know what it is because oh, you, know you say it all the time. <laughs> it's my only Canadian reference that I know. You could have said the Maple Leaf store. Uh, yeah, no, that's probably true. <laughs> you, you, we're just in line at Poutine Plus. <laughs> just getting our poutine and more. You want a hollowed out moose? We'll do it. <laughs> we'll put it on your wall. <laughs> Let's still a hollowed out moose on your wall. I agree. Yeah. So uh, that's... Insanity. Mm. If you do want to reach the show, though, in terms of letters, did I do this bit? Hashtag Weekly Planet Pod on Twitter? No, or you should do it. No, you should definitely, definitely do that, I think. I just yeah. got thinking about Jim Carrey's Dead Son show. Mm. Threw me off. How do, you, how do you pronounce E-O-I-N? I meant to look this Yoan, up. I Yoan, think. thank you. This is from Yoan Byrne. Mm-hmm. It says, wanted to thank James and Meso at the Weekly Planet for helping settle my nerves at my wedding last week and your unique blend of uh, fury and whimsy. Ooh. My new wife now has a lifetime of asking me, why are you always listening to those shouting Australians? Great Hashtag question. Weekly Planet Pod. Yeah. It is. That's for you to sort out. Yeah. And that could be in the divorce proceedings some years later. Yeah, it could yeah, be like right. they, he was always listening to those shouting Australians. That's right. Yeah. He's doing it right now. He's got headphones in. <laughs> this is <laughs> proof, Your Honour. <laughs> no, just kidding. Just kidding. Health and happiness. Health, happiness. Do you have any marriage advice? I'm not married. No, it doesn't matter. Oh, um, what do you think we do here? Hey, it's a good just, point. Just it's unsolicited, unqualified <laughs> advice. Um, man cave. Sure. Build a man cave. Start day one. Nah, it's weird. Your wife's like, hey, let's let's go for a walk. Husband and wife first, you know, go have a have a fun time. You could be like, can't build a man cave out the back. I can't. I'm sick of this. I can't. I wait. I'm, I'm <laughs> waiting for my Billy Big Mouth parcel to. To come in today. Yeah. I can't let it go back to the post office. I have yeah, to catch yeah. it when it comes to the door. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta shred this brand new recliner chair we got. <laughs> I gotta make it look really old and gross. Put it in the man cave. It's gotta be unsightly. You'd be like, get rid of that, and I'd be like, I won't. I'll put it in the man cave. <laughs> that's right. Okay, that's good advice. Yeah, I like it. Hey, speaking of Jim Carrey. Oh yeah. This is from Ben. He says, I was thinking what other movies could benefit from a James Gunn remake. Personally, I think the Truman Show would be perfect for him. Oh yeah. Am I curious what you think? God, Can you... I be the official forensic scientist student of the podcast? Yes. Ben from Michigan, yes. Uh, Do you touch the Truman Show? Do you? I say uh, no. I, it feels like very much a product of its time. And I'm sure, you know, there. Because of the nature of the. What, the medium reality. and reality show. Yeah. And, I mean, there's, you know. Well, I wonder, like, I, I'm sure you could do, like, physically you could go, okay, let's, what what is reality TV like now? Yeah. Could we base, a, a, you know, a movie around that now? But do you mean there's a sequel to be like, do you catch him, catch up with him now? Oh. Or, he, or if you can't get him, do you catch up with Ed TV, see what he's doing? Maybe you do. Yeah. Maybe there's some sort of uh, bloke's been tricked into being on reality TV Avengers. <laughs> just Ed TV, Truman Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, just them, just the two of them. They're more the of a situation. Day. The situation's there. <laughs> Yeah, great. Nice. Just have those three. Yeah, there's those three. The, the holy the trinity trip. of reality guys. <laughs> yeah. So, you go. More, more James Gunn. We've, we've gotten off track immediately. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I think it would be interesting to revisit the Truman Show as a character to be like yeah. as another character study of like what it is now or what? It, well, yeah, exactly. But like, or like what? Um, yeah, like how did how did his life turn out when he went yeah. into the real reality? I guess yeah. probably bad. Probably bad because he would have still been famous. Yeah, he couldn't disappear. He's the and, most like, famous man in the world. The dog's oh, trying yeah. to get in. I'll quickly get the dog. Okay. What if you just gave James Gunn, like, creative control of the DCEU and were like, Green Lantern? What if they did a Green Lantern, James? I'm trying not to talk because people can't hear me that way. Oh! I love it. Yeah, nice. He's doing good space stuff. Yeah, right? Look, Because he's think, done Guardians, obviously. Yeah. I think the only way you could do the Truman Show now, though, yes. is you just do it for real. Oh, yeah? Just get a baby. Mm-hmm. Don't tell it. I, mean, it even, even, I reckon do tell it. That would be fun for later. <laughs> 
because it'd be the big reveal and it'd be like, you know, 20 years down the track, yeah, 25 yeah. years. The person would be like, what? This isn't real? Ah. And then you show them the clip of like the producer being like, like sneaking in, like <laughs> leaning into a baby, being like, hey, you're on a reality TV show. We're, doing this. We're telling you, you right now. You don't, know, you don't, have, you don't comprehend words right now. You don't, you don't, baby. We got you. It's pretty fucked up, that movie, when you think about it. Agreed. I mean, you know what I mean? When you think about it, it's pretty much on the surface yeah, of that yeah. movie. Mm-hmm. Um, good movie, though. Good, great stuff. God. Oh, you know what? If you did do it, though, yes. you wouldn't make it like a regular world. you make it a real, like, fucked up, like, sci-fi thing or, like, you're in a weird jungle something. I don't know. You know what yeah. I mean? Just mix it up. It's just oh, like yeah. the regular world. Make it, make it oh, like a... Oh, I see make what you're saying. Like, right, 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 right. You know, like, it's like, you know, you go to, like, Star Wars land or whatever. You do that. Yeah, okay. Put sure, them in a sure. weird Star Wars dimension where nothing makes sense or right, whatever. And, and if they ever escape that world, they'll be like, I don't know. Because I guess at the very <laughs> least, if Tr- when Truman escaped the Truman Show, he can go outside and be like, okay, I know how things work. You have a job and you, and you pay money for things or yeah. whatever, you'd figure it out. But if it was crazy science fiction world... Couldn't, couldn't function. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You'd be like, I'm trying to pay for my lunch with quarter portions. <laughs> Which are themselves lunch, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, but the people want money. I don't understand. Don't get it. Yeah. Love it. Mm. All right. What What do you think a James Gunn could do? I mean, this is more something Truman, else. This is more a Truman Show question, I guess. I, I like good. that idea of giving him like D, more DC control. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, but I think DC are writing some ships regardless. Yeah, and also I don't think they would now because despite the fact that the Suicide Squad was good, it didn't make a lot of money and so they'd be like, that that's must, all they that care about. That must factor in though, right? You'd think it's, they would. Good? You'd think they would, but. Because you could just put him on a more popular property in a year where there's not a pandemic and it would yeah. probably do better. But I don't think. Their brains work very well. That might be right. So, you know, that's an issue, isn't it? That might be right. Mm. He's someone whose brain does work well, I Go feel. Mm-hmm. This is from Carson Balin, who says, Hi, James and Mason. My name Carson is Carson Daly. Carson Balin. Oh. He could be. Carson Cressley. Yes. From Queer Eye, the yeah. original series of Queer Eye. Put him in that in TV movie yes. we were making. <laughs> Get the culture guy. That guy who didn't <laughs> no, do No, you got to pick one queer eye guy. Okay. Because um, there's already three in the car. Yeah, that's true, yeah. All right? All right. You need uh, four. We could maybe put a fifth, but it has to be from a different. We got a, maybe a Paris Hilton because she was an early. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah, reality yeah, television Hilton, yeah, okay. type. All right. Maybe someone from the real world. I reckon like Ted, who was the interior design guy from the original queer eye, because it'd be like, I'm just pretty normal, guys. I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> this is. I just I just did the show for a couple of years and I just kept doing interior design. I don't yeah, know. fair. You probably did. Or he was cooking. Not important. <laughs> <laughs> it was the guy that they went to last, or whatever. Is that was that it? Because uh, you do the hair. No, culture was last, and the guy, the culture guy, was like, I don't know, two tickets to the opera, I don't know, or a <laughs> art gallery or something. I don't know. Why am I here? <laughs> I think Ted was cooking. Okay, Get Ted. Yeah, good stuff. Mm-hmm. Anyway, Carson. Presley. Yes. Uh, I have five foot six inches and on the heavy side of 150 LBS. Oh, yes. Which was closer to 151, I assume. Mm. So the, that would be the heavier side of that, wouldn't it? 150 is not that heavy. I don't think it is. It's like 68 kilo. I looked it yeah. up. Yeah. Anyway, have it has any death from a movie slash TV show? Wait, why is that in there? They put it in there. Okay. I didn't put it in. All right. <laughs> it's made either of you cry. Do you, think, do, you think he's doing, do you think he's doing a whip around of like he's emailing a bunch of different podcasts? I don't know. There's like a Get Fit podcast or whatever. Should I check his, uh, check his Twitter and see what he's up to? Yep. All right, here we go. Anyway, what was the question? He has one tweet and okay. it's to us. Okay, great. And he's not following anybody. Okay. And he has zero followers. Whoa. This is, this is nuts. This guy's an enigma, mm-hmm. but we know exactly what he weighs. Not exactly, but on the heavier side of 150, yeah. whatever it was. So 150 and 150 and three four, quarter portions. Three, three, three ounce, three ounce, five yeah. ounces. How many ounces in a pound? How many ounces Ten, to a dollar? 12, eight. Depends on the, well, it's about water weight, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but you've been cutting. Yeah. It's exa- yeah. I don't know pounds at all. Okay, great. So what's, what's the question? Any <laughs> death from a TV show made you cry or movie? Not zero. Me too. Ah, uh, wait. Ah. I had a friend who died when the Terminator went into the lava and he put his thumb up. You had a friend who died? No, so he cried. Okay. <laughs> he died. Was your friend the Terminator, James? <laughs> no, no. Okay. I just think they should check his skeleton. But no, I don't think so. It doesn't really. Uh, maybe misty eyed, but I can't even think of a specific yeah. example. Yeah. I mean, when, when Optimus Prime died in the Transformers movie, I remember my sister was there and she cried. Did you really? Uh, and and then, then I didn't, so I've had to keep, keep that up for, you know, the rest of my life. <laughs> Did she really cry? I think so. So she was she a was fan? She was sad about it. She was a fan? Nope. <laughs> Not at all. I don't even know why she was there. Great question. There were 16 ounces in a pound. There we go. Yeah. What's that in water weight, though? 
16 aqua pounds. Terrific. 16 aqua ounces. Have you got any more? This is from Jared. Jared. Jared Brazil. He says, good to be back with the boys. Oh, yeah. Hi, guys. Just wanted to thank you guys for keeping me entertained throughout this pandemic. Listening to you ramble on about movies I have or haven't seen has been enjoyable. Thankfully, I was able to see The Suicide Squad prior to listening to your podcast last week. It was great Sick. to know what you guys were talking about for a change. Glad to see the world might be getting back to normal. Hopefully. Uh, although I have recently moved halfway across Canada, could I please be the official new fee, Newfoundlander of the pod? Very good. Of course you can and enjoy move. your Tim Hortons. Hmm, that's a local reference that that's I right. know. Enjoy your, um, the guy, he's the... President or the Prime Minister or what? Justin Trudeau. Enjoy your Justin Trudeau. Blackface that he does. Don't enjoy that. Don't enjoy <laughs> that. Enjoy. Enjoy when he's not doing it. Enjoy when he's not doing it. <laughs> Which is most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Enjoy enjoy your superficially good Prime Minister. Agreed. Oh. God, he really went for it in that photo though, didn't he? I know. Like hands and all. Yep. <laughs> he went all out. Yep. Why did he do it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? That's the whole, that's all of the... I, I got one here I could do from Ben Cole who says, okay. with the CGI uh, Looney Tunes in Space Jam and the CGI Rugrats reboot, do you think there will ever be a time when hand-drawn animation being redone in CGI doesn't become so jarring? Hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. I didn't find the um, the Space Jam one that jarring, really. Did you? No, I didn't. It wasn't upsetting. And the Rugrats one looks a bit... Ugh. Yeah, yeah. But there's like mm. a distinct style to Rugrats which I enjoyed. Um... Nah, probably not. No. It'll always be a bit weird. Yeah, yeah. Unless you can make it better. I really hope that hand-drawn animation doesn't become a lost art. Me too. I don't think it will just because, you know, the passion people's passion for it already always exists. It might become a bit niche, but I don't think it'll go away. But then again, people aren't drawn on caves, mate, so you've got to mm. think about it like that, don't you? Yeah, no, that's a good point, actually. Mm. Mm. But people still take photos. Of caves? Yeah, and other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the show. That's true. I believe. It is the whole show. Should we wrap it up? Yes, folks. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. Thank you for liking the show. Thank you for subscribing to the show. Thank you for telling a friend about the show. Thank you, you for lying to your friends and your wives to get them to listen to the show. I agree. Thank you for choosing us this during podcast. the divorce proceedings. Yeah, we really do. If, if, you're, if your partner says it's us or the podcast, thank you for choosing us. We appreciate it. And hopefully you... Not enough to give you a shout-out on the podcast, but, and, you know, a little bit. But hopefully you don't lose us in the divorce. That That's true. Fight. Oh, my God. What if that happened? Can you imagine? They put up some sort of weird nanny software on your computer <laughs> so you can't listen to the podcast anymore. Your other half gets the podcast. They don't even listen to it. Tragic. They don't even like it. It's like when, you know, you hear about people take their pets and they don't even want the pet. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Right. It's more, yeah, about, yeah, yeah. more out of spite. It's like splitting up the Beanie Babies. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, thanks. Uh, Are they still worth anything? Surely not. I hope not. Thanks, folks. Thank you for leaving a five-star review, James. You've got a five-star review there? got a couple right here that really up the show. You can just do an in-app. Well. They said they've been my favorite pod for years. Not that that, not that it matters. Uh, oh, it matters. Thought I gave you guys five stars years ago when, when I first found you uh, when I was a total neophyte. When, what does that mean? Is that a young person? It's when you get beat up by Neo. Oh, no. Matrix. You have a neophyte. neophyte. <laughs> Back when listening with you, uh, with my dog Bo. With throat. You know, he flicks you in the throat. <laughs> yeah. I love it. It's my favorite thing. While well, usually playing Xbox One. Now I'm sitting here looking at a photo of my deceased dog. Oh, oh. Playing some Xbox Series X listening to you guys. Some things may change, but my enjoyment and quality of this program has not. It's from RD St. Clair. The series of your Xbox may change. Mm-hmm. The live or not alive status of your dog might change. It's in flux. Yeah. But we will never change or be upgraded in <laughs> any right. way. We'll never improve. Our resolution will never improve. If you're expecting a Space Jam 2 style upgrade yep, absolutely where we not. enter the 3D world. That, absolutely not. It will not happen. We're two sketches on a napkin. We will never, <laughs> we will never upgrade. I uh, appreciate that though. And sorry about your dog. That sucks. But congratulations on the new Xbox. That's something. Yeah. It's not as good as a dog. It's something. That's true. Uh, this is from uh, Chum Chum Fish who says, real savory podcast. Great five-star podcast. have listened to so much I hear their Aussie muttering when I turn it off. Ooh, that might be something else, but we appreciate that <laughs> regardless. That's exactly right. Uh, sometimes when you rate the show, you can like do it again if people want to. They're like, I already did. Maybe. Sometimes it disappears or whatever. Oh. You know what I mean? Do you think they, do you think they get rid of the bottom ones, like right at the bottom? I don't know what they do. Mm. I don't work at apple.com.au. The local branch. Yes, that's right. Let's check that. 
while you're doing that. Okay, you see if, see if nobody's bought apple.com.au. It's available. I just want to know what, no, it goes to Apple. That's just Incredible stuff. Folks, thank you so much for listening. If you want to get into contact with us, as any of these Do fine folks have done in the letters segment, you can go to Weekly Planet Pod at Gmail, at Facebook, at Twitter, at Bandcamp. You can go to planetbroadcasting.com. Uh, you can go yeah. to the Facebook group, Planet you can. Broadcasting Great Mates Facebook group. You can. Have a fun time. Have, some, have a grand time. You can have a great have, time. You have a great time just having some chats about podcasts and pop culture. And all kinds of stuff. I agree. Uh, you, should follow, you should follow Rob Collings. He's at sure. Rob Collings on Twitter. He's at the Weekly Planet on Twitter. I'm at Wikipedia Brand on Twitter. And on Instagram, I'm Nick Maso, N-I-C-K-M-A-S-E-A-U. James is Mr. Sunday Movies on all the social platforms. I am. If you want to support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. You can chuck in a buck or really any amount. We'd very much appreciate you that. Don't mind. You can also go to bigsandwich.co. You can sign up for nine US dollar reduce per month. Got all kinds of bonus podcasts and commentaries and early videos over there. I agree. Having a great time. We are. We're talking about good stuff and bad stuff. Yeah. We're talking about clickbaits and we're watching Justice Leagues. That's we're right. We're talking over Justice Leagues. Oh, uh, yeah. That's in the can, ready and to go. In the can, ready to go. Yeah. Um, and also, we've got some t shirts on tpublic.com. Yes. Search for the Weekly Planet. Just grab one. Grab, grab the silliest one you can see. Yep. Uh, thank you to The Brute and The Basilisk and Rackham for all our musical themes. That's the show next week, a different thing. Yeah, there'll be a different thing. What's out, Mason? Do you know? No. Me neither. Maybe we can catch up on Free Guy and Snake Eyes. If they come out. Yeah. I don't think we're going to get out of lockdown, to be honest. Um, But that's not to say that we won't get out of lockdown. That's right. We could watch Jungle Cruise again. That's true. We could re-review Jungle Cruise. Do you want to do that? Nope. All right, then. Great. (laughs) Thanks for listening, everybody. (laughs) Grab that gem, you guys. We will see you next week. Goodbye. They're making a sequel to Jungle Cruise. Yeah. It's called... Jungle 2s? Yes, Jungle... It's called... I guess this made enough money. I don't know. I don't know. Fucking... It's an IP, isn't it? No, oh, no. More like Jungle Snooze. Whoa. Yeah, that's right. So, no, I enjoyed it. Enough. Fine enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Had a fun time. De- yeah, decent Pirates of the Caribbean sequel. I agree. Yeah. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want. It's, it's up to you.